So I'm actually going against contract here. But, um, and beautiful weather, so you guys enjoy qualifying today? Yeah! That was the closest qualifying uh, lap that I've ever had with uh, against the Ferraris. She's crazy. And, and you took pole by 0.044. Yeah! That comes from someone. It definitely does. That's unbelievable. And you were shaking when you got out of the car. You told me after qualifying that you went beyond where you should have come with the lap. You went beyond the limit to pull that out. Yeah, I think, you know, well, firstly, a big thank you to all of you guys for coming. You guys really do make the weekend, you know, every year I say that. And, um, I mean, the pressure this year is far beyond any other championship that I've ever experienced. And, yeah, and you guys are here. It's, it's England are playing in the World Cup that just the desire to want to deliver as a part of, you know, as a part of the nation, you know, it's it's higher than ever before. And the Ferraris really put in such an effort today. I don't know where they found three tenths of a second, but they, um, they've really improved their car this weekend. And so it took everything from me. So at the end, I was, I was just shaking with emotions and I could see you guys in the grandstands, which is awesome. So. <laughs> And as we saw last week, Red Bull are in their function as well. This is a tight season. I didn't, I didn't see where Red Bull were today, but... No, not, not this weekend. Not oh, yeah, yeah. Red Bull, um, I don't know what's happened this weekend, but they're... Obviously, it's a power circuit. But, yeah, they've been, they, they were amazing in the last race, and I'm sure they're going to be um, run up there with us throughout the year. So, it's a close season. And this is it, four titles now. We've got four world championships, Seb's got four world championships. First time in history we've had two drivers on four titles going for a fifth. What does that do to you, to, to, to spur you on into, into a championship season? It's painful. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's not that it spurs you on, it's just the pressure is, as I said, the pressure is greater than it's ever been. Me and the team, I've got um, 3,000 members of my, or 3,000 people that are part of my team, their families are there all down at Stowe, so after this I'm going to go and see them there. Oh wow. But um, you know, everyone's working as hard as they can, and it, you see today it's so close between us all, from race to race, so it's really about delivering every single weekend, and the last race was definitely one of the toughest that we've had with the issue that we had. But we bounced back this weekend, and I hope tomorrow we can, you know, it's going to be the closest race that I think we've had. And the desire, does it grow year on year on year? You would think that it, it, it falls away, but it's, I'm hungrier than I've ever been. And it feels fresh. It feels, um, yeah. it's, it's good on one, in one side of things, but then it means I could be here for a long time. <laughs> How many uh, years have you got left in you? I don't know. I think that's what everyone wants to know. You're going to be here for another five, another ten? I don't ten? know. Jensen still looks pretty young. Why don't you come back? Why'd you leave? <laughs> I'm coming. Are you coming back? Well, I, I think we, is there another Brit? Are they only, we are the only Brits. You're the only Brit now, eh? Yeah, so it'd be kind of, it'd be helpful, Jensen, if you come back. It'd be good, wouldn't it? In the jorts. Have another Brit with us, yeah. Although, junior formulas, we've got some Brits coming through. Do you keep an eye on the likes of the Lando Norris, the George Russells, the Jack I Atkins? do, yeah. Well, the engineers are always watching that stuff, so in the engineers meeting, we get to watch them. The young kids are doing, the young guns are doing great, and it's great to see the youngsters coming through. Yesterday, I was in a press conference, and I'm sitting next to uh, Leclerc and um, Max, Max, two 20-year-olds. But I still felt pretty young. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's all a success, man. Yeah. Absolutely. And <coughs> racing in front of these guys, I remember back in the GP2 days, these guys drowned out the sound of 26 GP2 cars when you pulled off that three wide move down through Maggots and Beckers. They've loved you for decades now. How does it feel coming back racing in front of them, doing what you do best in front of your home crowd that adores you? No, I honestly, it's, it's such an honor to, to represent you all. So much. Was it 66 or was it 60? Oh, I was just talking about the Grand Prix, but sure, let's go with the football. Yeah, let's go with the football. Yeah, 66. Haven't been in a semi final since 90. Yeah, I just. I think football is great because, I mean, even this event, look how it brings all of you guys from all walks of life into one spot. That's how great sports is. And I think in England, there's the spirit for sport is just crazy. And um, I'm on the edge of my seat just now doing a debrief watching the game. And it's, it's great how we can all relate. We can all enjoy that, that success that, they've, that they've, they've had today. So I'm proud of the boys, and I really, really hope that um, we kill it. And you said in the press conference the other day, if England get through the final, you can fly out, go and watch it. Um, 
I'm, even if I have to watch from the car park, I'm gonna be there. <laughs> um, so <laughs> I'm gonna try and get, gonna try and get in. That sounds cool, JB. This guy, I mean, you know what it's like to perform at the highest level for so many years. What he does year on year to keep performing up at that level. What does it take? Uh, well, it's you know when you find yourself in a in a position like Lewis has found himself with a with a team like Mercedes. Um, yeah, you go out there and you, you do the best you can. And the thing is, watching you drive and watching you out of the car, every time I see you, you seem to be that bit more relaxed. And that, you know, you seem to enjoy it more and more from the days of performing with teammates. Um, you, <laughs> you were, is that because Jensen has beaten you? No, time? yeah, right, yeah, right. Um, but it was, you know, it's, it's really nice to see on TV how relaxed you are. Um, and that's just, that's, I guess that comes from confidence. And, and comes with age. No, exactly, it does come with age. Well. Um, but it also comes with achievements. So, uh, yeah, yeah, for fair sure. play to you, man. Thank you. Lewis, you won't believe it down here. There's a lady with a letter from the Queen. She wrote it to the Queen saying that Lewis should be knighted. Who thinks we might have a star for a star Lewis? What? On it. So I cool. think you might have to sign that. That's awesome. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah, definitely bring that up to get signed. How about, I think we need a, do we need a, a Sir Lewis and a Sir Jensen? Yeah. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty great. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. That's read awesome. it out. Read it out. That's amazing. If you would, I mean, would you like to? <laughs> Dear Mrs. Malone, it says, the Queen has asked me to thank you for your recent letter in which you tell Her Majesty of the reasons you would like to nominate the Formula One racing driver, Mr. Lewis Hamilton, MBE, for a knighthood. I should explain, however, that while the Prime Minister does not have a direct role in proposing names for consideration, a list of recommendations for honours is presented to the Queen by the Prime Minister. I'd say that's a pretty good, uh, I think that's pretty good. That's a letter and a half. Absolutely. Will you sign that for it? That's not good. Jensen, you have to go. Yes. But thanks for coming along. I have to prep because I'm... You're doing telly stuff this weekend, aren't you? I know, You're grown, doing grown up stuff. <laughs> Sorry? you got to go at the same time? you both got to go? Yeah, but the... Um, got you got to go see your 3,000 people. Lewis has got me. Yeah, exactly. Actually, you, you, don't being, know, you, you don't know that, but you, you've got me. You remember being in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shoot, we got an interview together. Yeah, exactly. Uh, They've got to go and do telly things. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, guys, you have two world so champions. Much.